I'm Julie. And I'm Martin. And we live full time on our 58 foot narrowboat home, Rhapsody in Blue. We're taking you along as we continuously cruise the canals and rivers of the UK with some beautiful scenery, occasional wildlife, landmarks, aqueducts and tunnels. Come with us. So we're on our way into boat life. Yep. And we've got Wayne and Amanda with us from Narrowboat <laughs> Spudley. <laughs> The Boat Life Show is at the NEC Birmingham and it finishes on Sunday the 18th of February. So we can't buy anything in the show. Yeah, <laughs> it wasn't the cheapest was it? We just had a, a coffee and a piece of cake each. And, uh, yeah. So this is it. Welcome to Boat Life. This board shows a list of sponsors for the show and it also shows you that there is actually an app that you can download to your phone. So we'll see you later. <laughs> we'll have a wander and we'll yeah. meet you back in a bit. So this is a plan of the show. We're going to go and see if we can find any narrow boats and then we'll have a look at all the other boats that are here. Wow. Certainly a lot of people here. So we found some, there's one straight in front of us and there's a couple to our left. The show only has a small section dedicated to the inland waterways and narrow boats, but we're going to take you around what's here. Starting with JF Very Boat nice. Building Limited. They are bespoke boat builders and we actually got to speak to Jamie himself. Right, Jamie, yeah, that's, yeah. so that's where that would be a good idea, we're having that front yeah, end, because yeah, if that was, it'd be an extension of your living room then, wouldn't it? Where that's the yeah. 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 So yeah, that's how that we have ours. Work. But most boats nowadays seem to be um, reverse layout. Is that yeah, still the trend? It's pretty, much pretty yeah. common, yeah. Shoes off, shoes on. No, you're okay, it's got yeah. antico flooring, yeah. so it's quite hard wearing. Oh, brilliant. Yeah, these look really nice. Yeah. So it's got an extended hatch on it as well. A lot neater than the standard yes. one. Oh cool, yeah, very ones. neat. Um, blue sea isolation switches. You've got um, changeover switches. So you've got sockets Ooh, for the handbags. Another, so got another rail in here. Yeah. Along the roof, which are always handy. You've got integrated fridge there. Walls under the very roof bottom. Yeah. So that's a little rock down to get them in. But yeah, they're on both sides. Wow. So, We've got a reversible dinette, so this actually comes up, spins around, drops in there, so you can sit facing the living room. Yeah, this one's got a that come down from the top, rainfall showers. Nice yeah, it's 800 and 900 cents. It is a bit plywood back you want shower panel as well, so you can knock that around. Yeah. Inside, obviously, all under the bed storage. Got cubby holes here. Yeah. Dozen sockets yeah. with USB yeah. points, inventory switch lights that are inside there. Yeah. All dry beach. I know. Yeah, so we had to keep a leak before they argued, other than the other ones. And I wasn't getting the wood like that. This that looks like cupboards comes down and makes a cross bed. This is beautiful, this boat. Yes. <laughs> um, this is a Tim Tyler shell and it is beautiful. It has what is known as a Joshua bow, a very distinctive shape. These are your holiday boats, so if you wanted to come and have a, a narrow boat holiday, see what it's like, see what you think, this is the sort of boat that you would hire. It's always best, if you're thinking about getting a narrow boat, hire one first, go on one for a couple of weeks in the summer and then perhaps try one in the winter. If you can cope with that and you like it, you'll like it, you'll know by then. You'll either love it or you'll hate it. 
Yes, we have known people buy boats and find that they don't enjoy it. You know, getting water, sorting your toilet out, etc., etc. So always best to try first. As you know, we thoroughly enjoy it. We absolutely love boat life. Where was that? Extra seating. Can you demo it, Matt? There you go. Folds down so you can get more people around the table. That's really clever, isn't it? So we have the sink here and we have the drainer. There are many layouts as well. There's the traditional style with the lounge at the front and the bedroom at the back. Mm -hmm. And then there's the reverse layout where you have the kitchen at the back or galley and the bedroom at the front. So it's always good to go on a few boats to see what the layouts are like and which one will work for you best. We'll put links to everything in the description below. Next, we have Collingwood Boat Builders. This was the only boat builder that had a narrow boat and also a wide beam, which will take you around shortly. This boat, you'll notice, has a square stern rather than a rounded stern. There are different dinette layouts too. This one is L-shaped. Yeah, I like the fact that that's elevated. It's nice. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's up like the floor as well. There are also different bathroom setups too. There's a walkthrough bathroom, which this one is, and there's also off corridor bathrooms, like we have. It's the same with the bedrooms too. This is an inline bed, the one we saw in JF Boat Building that was a cross bed. So the bed actually goes across the boat. Wow, these are literally floating apartments. They are stunning. Not sure I'd be any good steering one, but wow, just look at that. This one's even got his and her sinks. And just look at the size of this well deck. You could have a party in here. Oh, anyone spot Martin? <laughs> Absolutely stunning. And by the way, that's not my bottle of drink. Here's the boat spec. It's 60 foot by 12 foot six. And back to narrow boats. Now this one is Lakeland Leisure Estates Boat Sales. Once again, this is reverse layout. Beautiful colour scheme. It's all attached. This is what's known as a Pullman dinette, very similar to ours. What do you think of This is the company that made the windows in our boat. These the people we would come to for our boat. There's a wide range of boats at the show, from small boats to large river cruisers. There's engine stands. The photographer Jill Shaw was there also, um, showing off all her different photos and that. And look at this hologram. I mean, isn't that just amazing? Wow, I could have stood and watched that all day. <laughs> And it's not just boats either. I mean, just look at this lovely garden furniture. I mean, some of it was stunning. And then as for this Arctic cabin, I mean, oh, to have one of these in your garden. How lovely is this? Look, I mean, you go inside and you can actually have a barbecue inside. 
Could you imagine with the English weather? It's just perfect. So if anyone's got a spare 10 grand, this is perfect. Perfect for somebody's garden. Look at that. That is gorgeous. Like I say, small boats from ribs right up to the big, big million pound boats um, and on the right hand side you've got the area where people do talks i believe david johns was going to do one on saturday from cruising now, the cut. A hot tub. look at that goodness huge There's plenty of eateries around as well, so plenty to eat and drink, all dotted around the place. So it was lovely. There's paddle boards too. There was actually an area to the left there where you could actually give it a go. When they do the Atlantic Rally, that's what they live in. Look at that, look at that one. It's <laughs> 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 way more tubby than you got than we think. <laughs> Some of these boats were just stunning, really stunning. Nice, aren't they? So many ropes. All different shapes, sizes, colours. We took one last look at all the boats. We had a wander round admiring these gorgeous boats. And then it was time for us to go. But just before we do, Narrow Boat Stargazer by JF Boat Building Limited. We absolutely loved this boat, especially that lovely crossbed and that well deck. It even had a radiator in it. Lovely. Thanks to Wayne and Amanda for enabling us to go to the show. Thanks guys. If this has whetted your appetite for boat shows, pop along to Crick Boat Show at the end of May. The dates are on the screen. We're also going, so if you see us there, please come and say hi. Thanks for watching and if you've enjoyed this video please give us a like and subscribe it's totally free and it really helps our channel grow. Also press the bell icon and YouTube will notify you next time we upload a video. And don't forget to leave us a comment we love reading them and we answer every single one. Thanks everyone catch you next week.